During the debates period at the 49th session of the United Nations Human Rights Council, Cuba denounced the United States' criminal economic blockade, which has been in place for more than 60 years. It said that Washington is using the human rights issue as a political weapon. Ghanaian president and chair of the Economic Community of West African States Nana Akufo Addo said at an African Union forum that the rising coups across sub-Saharan Africa can be attributed to foreign entities using the continent as a means of enhancing their ambition. Over the past two years, coups have taken place in Burkina Faso, Mali, Guinea and Chad. China reported 1,860 new local symptomatic COVID-19 cases on March 15, recording over 1,000 cases for a fourth consecutive day. It is currently battling its worst outbreak in two years. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg urged allies of the organization to increase their support for Georgia's territorial integrity and sovereignty amid fears of further Russian expansion. Sri Lankan Finance Minister Basil Rajapaksa met with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi to continue discussions on a $1 billion emergency financial support deal to help Colombo mitigate its spiraling economic crisis. India has already provided $1.4 billion in support to Sri Lanka since January, including a $400 million currency swap, a $500 million loan deferment, and a $500 million line of credit for fuel imports. The United Nations on Wednesday raised $1.3 billion to help alleviate Yemen's humanitarian crisis. The amount fell short of the $4.3 billion the UN says is required to comprehensively address humanitarian issues in Yemen, including the growing hunger crisis.